Hey guys, in this short we are gonna talk about a carpal tunnel syndrome. As you see in this image, we can see uh, there is a trapping of the median nerve while passing below the flexor retinaculum at the breast, right? Then what is the cause of this? Uh, most commonly it is a bilateral mechanical cause like in modern life we are we have a job like prolonged sitting uh, in front of the computer and second is during the pregnancy there is increased uh, edema uh, and third is there is a, a glucose aminoglycan deposition in hypothyroidism and the acromegaly there is increased uh, growth hormone in the adult which will cause uh, increased uh, tendon size so how patient will gonna uh, present to you so patient like uh, i have a wrist pain and i have a, a numbness over the thumb and index finger and sometimes uh, this pain is gonna awake uh, from the sleep during the night and we are provisionally diagnosed as a carpal tunnel syndrome because it is the most common right so cl in the clinical examination we are doing a tin uh, tinnel sign is positive and Durkan sign is positive. What is Durkan sign? Durkan sign is we directly compress the nerve at the wrist and patient will have a pain. And we confirm this our provisional diagnosis by doing the nerve conduction study. And after all, what is the treatment? So first of all, we are give a non-pharmacological treatment like we ask the patient to use a wrist splint or uh, maybe they gonna give you a wrist pad if it's fail, then we uh, give a local injection of the triamcinolone, which is a steroid. And if it's also, uh, if, if there is not helped by a wrist splint or a local steroid injection, then we uh, do a surgery, which is nothing uh, simple surgery and uh, which is a fasciotomy of the flex flexure retinaculum at the wrist, which is release the median no pressure at the wrist. Thank you.